Hello. Mystery recap today. Warning. This review contains spoilers for the supernatural horror film Hellraiser. Please be careful. Roland Voigt is a wealthy businessman who appears to most to be a typical middle-aged man. However, he conceals a sinister secret when he sends Serena, his assistant, to a remote location to receive a puzzle box. The naive girl keeps the thing all day because she doesn't know how dangerous it is. In the evening, she goes to Void's house party and meets a prostitute named Joey. They talk for a while before Serena asks him to go to the double-doored section of the house that her boss has told her to go to. But he doesn't know why Joey goes into the dark corners of the mansion until he gets to the room with double doors and a high ceiling in the middle. There, a platform that holds the puzzle Void comes out of the darkness and asks Joey to solve it. He doesn't know why Joey goes there. The man wants to leave at this point because he believes the situation is too strange and that he will be rewarded for it, but he is scared to stay. It shocks him that the riddle is straightforward to settle when he fits the last piece, and Edge jumps out and pierces his power. Joey is used to being screwed, but not like this. Seconds later, a portal opens, and chains fly out and hook themselves into Joey's skin as a horrified Joey yells in pain, unaware of what comes next. Boyd simply watches as he screams one last time before being ripped apart. He looks at the portal to the Leviathan now that he knows what the puzzle can do. The element that rules update the scene suddenly changes to six years after the fact, Riley is a recuperating junkie who lives with her sibling Matt. His boyfriend Colin and Nora, his roommate, were having fun with her boyfriend Trevor in their room one afternoon. The other people in the house could hear them in the kitchen, which made things awkward. Being able to hear his sister in that way is not good for Matt, and Trevor leaves right after giving Matt the impression that he is not good for Riley. After the fight, he talks to his sister, and the two of them argue about how controlling he is. Riley visits Trevor's house and he feels pressured to stay. Joey is surprised that the puzzle isn't too hard to solve because when he puts in the final piece, a blade pops out, cuts his palm, and he screams in pain. Joey is used to being screwed, but not like this. A portal opens, and chains fly out and stick to Joey's skin. Boyd simply watches as he screams one last time before being ripped apart. He looks at the portal to the Leviathan now that he knows what the puzzle can do. Six years later, Riley, a recovering addict who lives with her brother Matt, is the entity that abruptly changes the scene. His boyfriend Colin and Nora, his roommate, were having fun with her boyfriend Trevor in their room one afternoon. The other people in the house could hear them in the kitchen, which made things awkward. Being able to hear his sister in that way is not good for Matt and Trevor leaves right after giving Matt the impression that he is not good for Riley. After the fight, he talks to his sister, and the two of them argue about how controlling he is. Riley starts smoking when she goes to Trevor's place. We learn that she has been denying that she is sober to her brother. Trevor asks Riley to accompany him to an abandoned house because he delivered a box there a few days ago and is aware that it contains valuables. Riley agrees, and the two of them break into the house within the next hour. When they finally get their hands on the box and open it, they discover a cube puzzle inside, unaware of the dangers it will bring. Later, Riley gets into a fight with her brother Matt when he discovers that she lied about being sober. Riley is soon troubled by an eerie feeling she senses someone watching her and as if on cue, a silhouette is seen in the Riley takes the puzzle packs her bags, and leaves his house in a fit of rage. She goes to a playground and takes edibles to escape reality. She then starts playing around with the puzzle, accidentally solving it. A blade springs out, but misses her hand. The entity, whose name is Pinhead, is a devil's worker whose job it is to remove the souls of those who solve the puzzle. He asks for two more souls to take her place and makes her chest bleed somewhere else because the puzzle blade missed drilling her hand. After having a nightmare, Matt feels bad for yelling at Riley, so he quickly runs outside to find her and finds her unconscious on the playground, attempting to revive her. He takes Riley to a nearby bathroom and accidentally cuts himself, not realizing that he is now on Pinhead's hit list. A loud scream wakes Riley up, but when she enters the bathroom, blood starts flowing from the sink. She panics and immediately dials 911, but since Matt has completely vanished, they do not have much to work with. They simply bring Raleigh home in a state of panic and ask her to file a missing person report the following morning. 
Riley is afraid she won't be able to tell Colin where Matt went. Of sounding illogical. They get into a fight because Colin thinks Riley isn't trying to help the police because she got into a fight with Matt. When the conversation gets too much, Riley leaves and goes to Trevor for comfort. Riley spends some time with Trevor, which temporarily helps her forget about her problems. However, the next morning, she asks Trevor for help figuring out the solution to the puzzle because she is soon haunted by visions of Seamblast, which are demon-possessed slaves of Panhead. She is certain that her brother's disappearance has something to do with it because the pinhead who was torturing her last night was holding the puzzle. Trevor helps her find the owner of the abandoned house, and it turns out to be Serena, the assistant who was given the puzzle at the beginning of the movie. They find Serena dying in a health center from a lung disease. Serena tells the couple to forget Matt and take the puzzle with her. She also tells them about her billionaire boss, Boyd, who was killed because he was obsessed with the puzzle. Riley demands that Serena tell her more about the puzzle, but she refuses and instead tries to snow. Serena accepts her fate and claims that she did this to herself. Later, she sees Sino bites in a room and they follow her around the health center. She takes the puzzle out of her hands and gets cut. In the long run driving her to her destruction after arriving at home, Riley looks into Voice's name on the web and finds articles about him being a mysterious relic gatherer. This guy is worse than Nick Cage. She also sees that before his own disappearance six years ago, he was involved in a number of enigmatic disappearances. Riley knows that all of this fits into the puzzle, and she wants to go to Void's last mansion to find out why the driver no longer wants to support her because she's afraid of being taken away like Matt and Serena. As a result, Riley herself visits the mansion. Riley's questions are answered when she reaches Void's study room, where she breaks in and immediately finds the place to be spooky due to the enormous metal gates that appear to have been designed to protect against something dangerous. There are several pictures of pens in it. Riley also acquires a diary from the Sinobites, which explains that each person bitten by the Sinobites is mutilated and skinned differently. She finds out that the puzzle has six different forms, and that the afterlife beings will torture you differently depending on which form you solve. After hours of reading, Riley suddenly hears someone whisper her name. It seems as though Void was after some sick form of immortality that he was trying to achieve through the puzzle. She runs to hug him when she sees that he is irate in the hallways, but when she discovers that his back has been skinned, she retreats in shock and is caught by Colin. Riley explains to Colin what she has learned over the past few hours to Trevor and Nora, who have all come to assist her while Trevor and Nora wait outside. She asserts that the god of hell will grant her a wish for love and life if she achieves the sixth and final form of the puzzle. She intends to accomplish this through knowledge, power, or even resurrection for Furbies. Return Matt. Colin thinks she has flipped out. Which disappoints Riley she goes to show him the riddle, just to figure out she has dropped it someplace in the chateau outside. While Trevor tries to get Nora out of a room, someone else is solving a puzzle in the same room as Nora. The person uses the puzzle to stab Nora and chases her out of the room. A terrified Nora stays on the ground, unaware that the puzzle hurt her. Her doom is near. Colin and Trevor pick her up and take her outside, while Riley takes the puzzle and follows them after they leave. We learn that the man in the walls is Boyd himself. The trio takes Nora outside the mansion to their van as they try to drive away from the mansion. While they are driving, a sudden force causes them to lose their way and panic sets in as the puzzle begins to move. Which tosses them into dread obscure to the way that the Sino Chomps have begun their execution, the threesome drives in dread, not understanding what the correct way is. Nora, on the other hand, is taken in by the Sino Bites and ultimately dies there. Through Pinhead, Riley recognizes the situation when he sees Pinhead's reflection in the mirror. Their van crashes, and when they get out, they find Nora gone. On the way back, Riley meets Pinhead, who offers Matt's resurrection in exchange for two more sacrifices. Riley declines, but while they are talking, she gets stabbed and is now known as Pinhead. After that, he informs her that it is either her own life or the lives of two others. The group eventually returns to the mansion after a Sinobite appears. The trio takes Nora outside the mansion to their van. As they attempt to drive away from the mansion, a sudden force causes them to lose their way while driving, panicking the puzzle begins to move, and Colin falls down in fear of what is ahead. However, 
The Sinobite leaves him for the now marked Riley, which, despite the fact that the Sinobites have begun their execution, sends them into a state of terror. Nora. The trio drives in fear because they lack direction. On the other hand, she finds herself being bitten by Sino, and she ultimately meets her death through Pinhead Riley sees Pinhead's reflection in the mirror and understands the situation. As a result, their van crashes, and when they get out, they find Nora gone, but on the way back, Riley meets Pinhead, who offers Matt's resurrection in exchange for two more sacrifices, which she rejects briefly while Riley is engaged in conversation. Riley is stabbed, and she is now marked. After Ben had informed her that it was either her own life or the lives of two others, the group managed to return to the mansion before a Sinobite pursued them. Despite failing to catch up to the other two, Colin collapsed from fear of what lay ahead. Riley, who refuses to give up any of the other two as sacrifice, solves the mystery and stabs the Sinobite, leaving him for the now marked Riley and the synonymous injured Trevor. The three finally return to the mansion after he passes away. However, there is still no guarantee of their safety. Riley locks the metal doors after realizing the structure that surrounds the entire mansion and keeps the Sinobites out, leaving an injured Trevor being harassed. Colin and Riley then set off on their own to find a solution, and now the alone and resting Trevor receives a visitor who turns out to be empty. In addition, it is revealed that Trevor, who was portrayed as a lackey, has been looking for people to sacrifice to the box, including Riley, where a device attached to void the twists causes him pain. He then presses on Trevor's wounds, tells them to speed things up, and offers sacrifices to get his reward because he has no more patience. Riley and Colin move Trevor to control the switch, and then Riley offers herself to Pinhead. However, she actually uses herself as bait to entice and ensnare a Sinovac. They successfully capture one, but Riley misplaces the artifact during the process, interrupting everyone's day. Various sides of the metal enclosure, Colin goes to track down it. But it doesn't work because Void does it faster and stabs Call an instantaneous shock at the existence of Void, Riley tells Trevor, but he doesn't seem bothered by it. Today, our writer has amazing words. After that, Riley finds out everything Trevor did for Void and how he was with her with the intention of giving her up. She also learns that Void was able to solve the sixth puzzle six years ago and was granted a wish by the god of hell because he wanted a new pleasure sensation, which led to him getting the body attached device. As the puzzle reconfigures itself, as it does each time the portal opens for yet another sacrifice, she discovers that the truth behind any reward offered by the scene blast is pain. On Void's command, Trevor opens the gates. Riley lets the scene blast in and begs Colin to run which he does, but Sonobi takes advantage of the opportunity. When Leviathan appears in the sky, Void fails to keep an eye on Riley, who steals the box and locks all the gates, trapping the cinema by demanding that he be released from the gift. Opens the door and goes to Colin, who has the Void turned on him. He then gets down on his knees and asks Pinhead to let him die so he doesn't have to suffer anymore, ensnared and nearly ready for mutilation. Riley arrives at the scene and informs Collins of another sacrifice in lieu of Colin Raleigh's visit to Trevor. Collins screams in pain. The synagogue immediately releases Colin and captures Trevor, who was initially sent by the Void to prevent Call from escaping and stabs him. Riley is successful in rescuing Colin from the torture, despite being mutilated right away. In the meantime, Pinhead is being untruthful when she requests anything but the gift from Void. She tells him that no gift can be taken away but she also tells him that an exchange is possible and that they were wrong about him. Thought sensation and that he did everything for power rather than pleasure. Void decides right away to exchange his gift for power pin, then takes a step back and lets Leviathan provide him with his final salvation. Without a doubt, the metal device falls off his body and his wounds heal. But it doesn't last long because a long chain crashes through the ceiling, through him, and takes him away. Everything collapses decisively and Riley goes to the movie. They offer her a reward for completing all of the sacrifices, but she declines because she has already learned from the void how everything is twisted. Matt, her brother, calls to her about it. This should be the manner by which the corona program became known. She tells them that she accepts his death, and the scene blast let her know that she has chosen to be a guest of. Lamentation. She leaves the artifact on the floor because she wants to live with the guilt for all the sacrifices she made. When Riley and Colin return to the van, 
Colin questions her about whether or not she made the right choice, but Riley stays naked. When it's all said and done, quietness. Should I proceed there? In the final scene, Riley remains silent. The void awakes naked, without hair, and trapped. After that, he undergoes a brutal transformation into C. Anaba before receiving the power gift that he truly desired. Turn on notifications, please subscribe for more videos like this one, and like the channel to support it. I appreciate your attention.